Welcome everyone, we are back again with another round of pickups. Let's get right to it. So before we get started, I do want to state that this is actually kind of pickups of 2022 in general. Mm -hmm. So the last pickups video we did was in the old home. And while we were unpacking, we found stuff that we totally forgot to talk about because it was in storage. Yeah. So these are pickups from pretty much this entire year. Yeah. So with that being said, let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. But uh, I finally got my hands on this behemoth. I finally got a PS5. Woo! Thanks to my buddy Glenn. Um, I haven't played a ton of it, but I have played a couple of games and enjoyed it, but we we got to talk about Astrobots. Oh, fucking love it. Yeah, we, we had a lot of fun with that game. It's just silly, fun. Built in. Yeah, built in. Didn't even have to pay extra for it. It was great. And it's, it's so cool because if, if you know about PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, there's like all these different collectibles, um, memorabilia, paraphernalia <laughs> <laughs> all this fun stuff to collect and i think we've i think we've almost got it all maybe i'm not sure yeah we're still missing like some of the postery stuff but yeah i don't yeah. care about that yeah but uh got a couple of games that i've had the chance to play first up spider-man miles morales uh loved this game i thought it was a blast check it out if you haven't it's a lot of fun uh, a game we've been playing together sack boy a big adventure I like this game, but I'm not in love with it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's I think it's fun for like the two player aspect of it. Yeah. But I couldn't see wanting to play it by myself. Yeah, it's kind of like I don't know. After about thirty minutes. Yeah. Kind of ready break to move for on. Break, yeah. Yeah, but it's it's still fun. It's mm -hmm. a great two player game. Uh, my Halloween game of the year was Alan Wake. Alan Wake. My brain did not want to say that for a second. Um, the remastered. It's fun game. Not necessarily my favorite, but it was a good experience, and mm -hmm. uh, it was a fun way to get into the Halloween spirit. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at it. I have a little spider, even though I was only in the same leg, so I'm going to need them to learn how to count. T.Y. Beanie Babies. They charge by the leg. I know. <laughs> but it's called a squishy beanie. I don't really know why there's no beanies in it, but it's it a, is squishy. It's a beanie baby, sort of. Yeah, it's so soft. And according to this, his name is Cobb. His name is Larry. Say hi to Larry. I still like Ruth Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Vote in the comments below which one you like more. Larry or Ruth Bird? <laughs> <laughs> uh, FYI, we're filming this back to back with the uh, Multicon pickups. So again, if there's weird cuts, it's because she keeps coughing. Now I have a cough flower. So this was kind of a joint gift, in a mm. way. Uh, we got our TMNT Cowabunga collection. Mm -hmm. uh, these, This has like all the classic games from back in the day. So the games were kind of for me, the collectors collecting items were kind of for her. Mm. Yeah, like I literally wanted this because I like the collector, the collector's items. Yeah. Speaking of joint gifts, so he was gonna buy this for himself at one point, and then I was gonna buy it for him for Christmas. <laughs> and then I've been wanting it, and so I come home and he bought this for me. Look how cool this is! It's TMNT. Uh, it's a little like water dude. I forgot what his actual the pizza monster. That's what his name is. Yeah. yeah. And, but it even comes with the tiny little one and the pizza. How cute! So the detail on this is just really good. So maybe the last video games pickups video I did, maybe the one before that, I don't remember. But I talked about how I was in the process of replacing all the missing cases for my Sega Saturn games. Mm -hmm. Well, I finally completed it. These were, these, these were the cheapest ones and I just refused to buy them for some reason. But thanks to a payout from Twitch, I actually made money on Twitch. Mm -hmm. It was fun to actually buy games from playing games. Mm-hmm. Anyway, first up, Battle Arena, Toshin Den Remix. This game is a nightmare. <laughs> um, it's really not that great, but, you know, as you do when you don't have a lot of games as a kid, you 
you play them. You oh, we're play. playing the hell out of this on Saturday. Yeah, it's it's really not the best <laughs> fighting game out there, but I have a lot of nostalgia for it, so it is what it is. Uh, a game I did not play as a kid, but I think I would have rather enjoyed. Croc. And uh, you know what? It's, it's really not that bad of a game. I played it for a little while, as you see, gameplay footage, and I don't know. I might give it another go. Uh, last up, another game I didn't have as a kid, surprisingly, Road Rash. So I was a big fan of Road Rash on the Sega Genesis, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this version of it. Um, I do have the so-called superior version that's on the 3DO, which is really hard to say that <laughs> it's the superior versions on the 3DO. <laughs> but I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't, I don't know, doesn't feel quite the same. Mm, you know, we go yard sailing and antiquing and all that stuff. Well, at an estate sale, they had four. <laughs> Man, it was to say 1940s. It came out as Florg. <laughs> oh, new name. <laughs> Florg. Larry, Florg, or Ruth Burt. Vote below. So we found Lassie from the 1940s. I just really like the art in it, and I mean, there's not a whole lot of art in it. Um, but there's a few little spots and stuff that looks like they were like hand sketched, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, that's why I like older books like that. This was <laughs> a stupid purchase, but I had mm. some of these as a kid. And I don't know if it was because of Jurassic Park or if I like Jurassic Park because I already like dinosaurs. I don't know. But I love dinosaurs as a kid, as a lot of kids do. Mm. And I had, I didn't need all of these, but I found someone selling them all for cheap so we got dinosaurs dinosaurs yeah so i'm really wondering like how accurate this information could even be i honest to god i don't even think i even really read anything in here i just like looked at the pictures so we have tmnts i recently started just wanting to collect these because i didn't have any of these when i was a kid and they're some. just so cool we have detective leo we have... I had that one as a kid. I'm going to call him Scuba, but I kind of feel like he's just like Shark Hangs. Shark Hangs Mikey. And uh, we have... Oh, I always forget. It's... Bebop or Rocksteady. A while ago, I decided to take a weekend off for us to hang out. For those who don't know, I work weekends. Mm -hmm. I work from home, but it still kind of sucks. Yeah. But I wanted to go like yard sailing or something. I think we hit two yard sales. Mm -hmm. Ended up at a flea market. And this thing took up, like, our entire day. Yeah, it was great. Um, but the first booth I walked up to had some Genesis games in the box. Mm -hmm. And the guy was just selling them for super cheap. Uh, first one is WWF Royal Rumble. I played these games as a kid, and even today, I, I honestly don't even know if I'm controlling the character. <laughs> Things happen, but I don't know what I'm doing. I did want to point out that this was bought from a place called Digital Planet for $26. I don't know what year, but, um... Thanks, Digital Planet. Yeah, I always like those little stickers. Mm -hmm. Next up, I didn't play any of the Shinobi games as a kid. And I regret it, because they're pretty fun. But we also got Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi. Mm -hmm. This game is a bit more difficult. One hit kills. But you have a dog, which is adorable. And Oh, yeah. Even though it's sad, when the dog kind of dies, he just kind of reverts to a puppy for a little while. And that's fucking adorable. You're right. Next up, we got Last Battle. You know, I didn't hate this game as much as some people. I can see why they don't like it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? For the price I paid for it, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's, it's you know, worth five or ten minutes of mindless yeah. punching and kicking. Yeah. And the goofiest kick I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this is, this actually isn't a Genesis game, but, you know, it's close enough. Ghostbusters on the Master System. Another game I'm not a big fan of. It's not Ghostbusters on the Genesis. But, uh, yeah, it's Ghostbusters. Speaking of that flea market, this thing was a gem. So, I like Tinker Toys, like old toys, things like that. So we're going around, and I'm not seeing a whole lot. And then I see this bad boy, Buried like kind of in a back corner and I just see that. And I went, they can kind of see it. And I went. It's a bit subjective, but you know. I know, but I was like, what the hell is that? 
and I pull it out. Giggity. And oh my god, is it not beautiful? And there's no rust on it or nothing. Look how pretty that is. It's just an old little tin toy top. So with that, or after I saw that, I got real excited about it. Um, I saw there's a guy selling like a bunch of like small toys. He had a bunch of McDonald's toys and stuff. And I threw this bad boy into there. And it is a, it's, I think it's, I think it's from like the 60s or the 70s. Um, it's just a noise maker. Yeah, he hates it. So I saw this and I just like threw it in there. Like the whole bundle of toys was five bucks. Um, and then as we were going to leave and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to find anything else now. Whatever. Yeah. I had Dancing Clown. The guy was like, he's about a hundred years old. Dating it, looking at the art, he's not a hundred years old. He's probably from the 60s. So I think the last thing at that flea market, I think she pointed this out. I would have completely oh, yeah. overlooked it. But to go with my weird Pong collection, because I have a bunch of Pong clones, because I find them and they're usually cheap. But we got Telegames Hockey Tennis 2. Woo! Which has both hockey and tennis. We actually haven't played this yet, but I, I do know it works. It does turn mm -hmm. on and makes noises, but I assume it's like Pong. So. Yeah. Yeah, we picked up a few records this year. I have a Fats Domino, which I'm not going to lie, I have not listened to a whole lot of, so I'm excited to have an album I can kind of just play and listen. It has Blueberry Hill on it, so at least I know that I like that song. Nice. I also got Chuck Berry. This is like a decade album, and I just was like, you know, add a little Chuck Berry to my life. Uh, another vinyl. This was actually the first thing we picked up after we moved into this home. Mm -hmm. But I realized we didn't have any Van Halen. Great hits like You Really Got Me, Jamie's Crying, Running With The Devil, which I'm not gonna lie. I think Running With The Devil's a bit overplayed. It's not a bad song. It's just not their best. We picked up comic books like from all over, so not even yeah. gonna give stories about it. But uh, we got uh, Grimm's Ghost Story. Yeah. Yeah. I am trying to finish up Eve. We're working on it. And then, just to go with Goosebumps, because why not? We have Goosebumps, Monsters at Midnight, Download and Die, mm. and uh, Secret of the Swamp. But this one, Survival Street. <laughs> Come on. Now, to be fair, it's not actually Sesame Street, you know, because none of them are actually the characters. It's implied. But yeah, I must say, but you, you know. Yeah. I also picked up some comics. Uh, we got Disney's Aladdin. Claws and effect. Yeah. I love it. Why not? We also got a couple of Lion Kings. I love Lion King. And why not? They're Lion King comics. They're actually uh, made by Marvel. So I'm expecting to see Mufasa in Black Panther or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> We also found another uh, Archie TMNT comic book. Mm -hmm. I've been enjoying picking these up. I don't know what draws me to these so much. The art, man. Look yeah. how cool they are. I mean, I'd love to get like the OG mm -hmm. comics, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also found another Anne Rice comic. So a while ago I picked up um, all of the Interview with the Vampire. Mm -hmm. And the day after I got them, Anne Rice passed away. That mm -hmm. was... That was that was weird. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, but we also found uh, The Mummy, or Ramsey's The Damned. I don't know if there's more to these, but I've also been on the lookout for Lestat, because I know there, there's a whole series of that, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we don't collect comics. Yeah, at all. We picked up some more Goosebumps. Uh, we kind of just, like, we went to a McKay's and just ran through our list and tried to figure out what we had and what we didn't. So, some of these we may not have even read before. We have The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Stay out of the basement. God, Karen. <laughs> Alrighty then. Don't go to sleep, Billy. And the haunted mask too. Grandpa's home. Look at Grandpa's home. Okay. <laughs> so I picked up a lot more games this year than this, but most of those I haven't played, and they're like Xbox, mm -hmm. PS4 games because of GameStop's 4 for 20. They're trying Sale. to clean house. Yeah, I know. I've been just snatching them up. Yeah. But we'll run through these quick. You want to them over here? Uh, I think that's no, right. I think I already talked about this one, but um, I finally got the chance to test out my Sharp Famicom Twin. 
Uh, the fun thing is, uh, during the move, I don't know where the fuck I put the goddamn power adapter for my Sharp Famicom Twin. So if you're seeing gameplay footage right now, I found it. If you're not, I didn't find it. So it's, <laughs> it's somewhere, because I know I played it in this damn room, but I don't know where the hell I put the damn thing. Awesome. Um, Good job. I think, I think my last pickups video, or video game pickups video, I talked about how I had the case for Altered Beast on the Game Boy Advance, but I didn't have the game. Well, we finally did buy the game. Almost forgot about this. And it's not as exciting as you would think. Yeah. It does play like Altered Beast, but good God, the first stage just goes on and on. I don't know why. And off. Yeah, so with that being said, we haven't played a ton of this. <laughs> we played enough to get annoyed. Yeah. So. Um, I also got my limited run copy of Angry Video Game Nerd. One and two. Uh, if you're not a fan of this series, these games are still fun. A lot of references to the series, but mm. you can see references to the games that they're referencing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm with you. Yep. We're following. Um, these two games were from Louisville back in March. Again. All, all year. All year. <laughs> uh, so these ended up getting packed away in the storage. Uh, Sega Rally Revo on the PS3. I don't have much of an opinion on this game. I played it for a little while. It didn't wow me as much as Sega Rally on the Saturn or on the Dreamcast, but I don't know. I'll, I'll give it another chance. Uh, we also got Shantae, uh, the half genie hero. I actually bought a digital copy of this game a long time ago on the Xbox One. And like a lot of digital games, I tend to forget that I own it. So I'm happy I was able to pick up a physical copy and it came with the soundtrack, so that's kind of cool. Moving on to some modern games, I think. Save that one for a while. Oh, yeah, I love that game. Uh, because of 4 for 20, I did pick up Stubbs, uh, which I have the original, but this is the re release for the Xbox One. Um, yeah, it's Stubbs the Zombie. It's a fun game. I haven't played as much of this as I would like to, but it's, uh, it's still pretty fun. <laughs> also, on the Xbox One, we got Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. This is basically a Power Ranger fighting game. It's kind of cool. It's got some Power Rangers I don't, I'm not very familiar with because, you know, I stopped watching after Zeo, but... Uh, ooh, an actual older game. I picked up a complete box copy of Adventures of Lolo, which we played a little bit of. It's not my favorite game in the world. Oh, yeah. But, um, you know, it's fun for... I hate it. Yeah, it's cute. I'm not really big on, like, puzzle games, and that's kind of yeah. what it is, but if, if there is a puzzle game I'd rather play, it would be this one. Right. Last up, this was a game I knew absolutely nothing about i just happened to see it on limited runs website and i was like that looks ridiculous i gotta buy it and i was not disappointed mm -hmm. now i don't like to talk about politics but all I, all I can say is that i feel like some people would get offended by this game for different reasons mm -hmm. and then you got people like me and my wife who are like that's fucking hilarious because it's, it's the best game it's a joke yeah but uh yeah it's a psvr game it's called the american dream now, what is the American dream? Well, the American dream is you do everything with guns. Everything. Everything. Like, give your baby a bottle. Yeah. By using a gun. Yeah, that might be where they went a little bit too far, yeah. but um, <laughs> that's that's where the game starts. But you flip burgers. Yeah. By shooting them. You uh, wash cars. Yeah. Uh, you go on dates. Yeah. It's just... You, that's how you signal your crush from across the street. Yeah. You have a little shootout in the bedroom. Yep. It's, uh, okay. it actually is fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny if you can understand that it's a fucking joke. Yeah. For the love of God, I know things are crazy in America nowadays. It's a fucking joke. And just don't take it serious. But I, if you can check this game out, I don't know if you can download it. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, basically, everyday tasks with guns. There is a little antique store in Clarksville, Tennessee. My dad took me to it, and I found this gem. So we did pick up, I think it was last year, we picked up a viewfinder that is the classic view, like the red one. Mm. Um, and But it doesn't work. When you put the slides in, you can't see anything. I don't know what the issue is, but it doesn't work. So this one I found, and I got so excited, because I was like, I'm not buying it if it doesn't work. <laughs> and it did. And so I got to look in and see it. And it came with some slides. 
So I have slides from the other one, which are Star Trek, and then slides from this one, which is Six Flags. So I get to go see some Star Trek, and I get some Six Flags all over the world anytime I want. It's just like riding the roller coaster. I think the real question is, will that play the American Dream? Again, on a previous Video Games Pickups video I did, I talked about how I bought a bunch of games from a buddy of mine, and these are some that I packed away before I had the chance to talk about it. Uh, first up is Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition. The only reason I brought this up was because the game's not even in here. Mm -hmm. Apparently he went to trade this in to GameStop, and GameStop was like, oh, we can't take the Collector's Edition, but we'll take the game. I already have the game, doesn't matter, but <laughs> it comes with this awesome gun, which you will see right now, I just yeah. I assume, if the editor is doing <laughs> his job. But um, if anything, that just totally made it worth it, was the gun. To go with that, I honest to God didn't even know this was a thing, but we got Final Fantasy XI on the PS2, but I did not realize that the PS2 had a hard disk drive that you could buy for it. See, I had an Xbox, which came with a hard disk drive. I didn't have to, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't have to buy a separate one. But um, yeah, I, I, this is apparently Final Fantasy XI, Final what? Final Fantasy XI Online. I don't know if anyone's still playing this, but if anybody wants to get down and play some <laughs> Final Fantasy XI online with me, let me know. This also I picked up in Clark's Vegas. And it's one of those like experiment kits. I got really excited. It was cheap. And because it's not finished, like it doesn't have everything. It does have instruction manual. Yeah. It has a lot of the minerals left. It still has test strips and all kinds of stuff. Everything's all rusted and perfect. I freaking love it. This last item is considered a holy grail of mine. Mm. Um, when we sold our home, we had a little bit of extra money. Not anymore, we don't, because this house our is- just... costs a lot of money. It's a money pit. Yeah, buying homes sucks. But I put some money aside because I desperately wanted this. I kind of wish I would have bought it a couple of years ago because I could have got it complete in box for the price I paid for this. But I got the Punch-Out Gold cartridge Punch from the Famicom. I, I don't know why I wanted this so bad. Probably because I love Punch-Out so much. It's also gold. It's also kind of rare. But yeah, anyway, it's kind of like a trophy, you know? It's like, my game room is not complete, but it's pretty damn close now, you know what? Mm -hmm. Number one game room in the general area. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that was the end of 2022 as far as pickups go. Um, yeah, this year just flew by, but uh, here comes 2023 with more pickups. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Oh, oh, it's like it's like wall ball. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> I used to play that tennis like against my Racket parents. Ball? No, I just bounce a tennis ball against a wall. Oh. I call it wall ball. What? <laughs> I love you. I don't want to call it solo tennis. Or yeah. Tennis derbation. <laughs>